from WIVB.com Buffalo. Trump claims 75-year-old Buffalo protester could be Antifa provocateur as man remains hospitalized. And you've probably seen this footage. This is the famous one where th this gentleman, uh, older guy, turns out, um, yeah, turns out he's 75 years old and, you know, kind of looks it. He's not, he's not a 75-year-old CrossFit champion. He's a 75-year-old dude who's healthy, but, you know, he's 75 years old, frail. And he, a tall guy walks up to a police line, gets pushed back, stumbles walking backwards and i get it i get it that you know oh here it is thank you so much cj yeah this this footage and it's it's disturbing on a couple of levels and it, it's not the the most obnoxious thing you know if you walk up to a line of riot police expect to get pushed back right you, you know it, and it's not like they they shoved him hard but it was enough that he he, he moved back and as he was going back he fell right and people people try like the the police apologists here try, oh well he tripped yeah because he was pushed like uh, hello like it, it's not like he was just walking around and tripped and the police had nothing to do with it other than being in the area no they pushed him as he was moving back against his will in a way that he was not prepared for because he was going up peacefully in good faith expecting to be and there was there was nothing going on like right there. Like it was a, you, you look at that video, it was a line of cops moving through it, it, some kind of empty courtyard space. There weren't, and, and it's just this one dude. And it's a loose line. They're not with like shields, like in a you know rigid line. They're like kind of in a scraggling mob of a line like sweeping through. It was, it was, it was a bit of an unusual scene. And he falls back. And he starts bleeding from the from his head. It looked like his ear. I, I mean, I didn't. Did, did you see the detail? I heard everybody say it was from his ear. And it's it's weird, but no, he fell legit on pavement and in his head, and he's in he's still in the hospital with this shit. And he, um, it, it 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 makes sense that he's being examined. You know, like when when something like everybody on the internet, we've got. You know, hundreds of, of you know americans in their parents basements all trying to play video detective and that's great you know that that anytime there's a, a an important or controversial video there are people poking around going could it you know considering every crazy possibility that's a good thing i'm glad that that's a feature of the internet that people use it to do that but in this case the far-fetched theory is coming from Chino Jesus himself? Like, really? And this tweet from Trump. Here it is. B pull up the tweet itself, please, CJ. Buffalo protester shoved by police could be an Antifa provocateur. 75-year-old Martin Gugino was pushed away after appearing to scan police communications in order to black out the equipment. Like now, here you like right away you go implausible. Not mm, no, like smart. This dude is smart enough to scan police communications and black out equipment, but not smart enough to avoid walking into the police line. Um. I watched. He fell harder than was pushed. Yeah, because he tripped going backwards with momentum, and and landed pretty hard with it. And and this, you know, made me think of you know my Jefferson dance party yeah, thing, where yeah. you know being young and fit, taking a fall like that on on a hard floor. Well, I was I was really slammed. Yeah, but it's yeah. the you know you, you fall with that full force momentum of a body weight falling. You know your head fall. Yeah, I mean I tucked my chin and slapped the ground so I didn't crack my skull open. And now I go, ah, shit, it happened to this guy of all people. Now, could it have been a setup? Could it have been <clears throat> like some kind of deliberate civil dispute? Like, maybe the guy was walking up to get arrested. Like, you know what? I'm just going to stand in the way of the police. 
you're going to arrest me. And they shove him to the ground, and unfortunately, because he's old and they're clumsy, it causes an injury. But, they, I mean, serious injury. Um, but then on the, the other note is... Uh, of of, of the, this video being disturbing is the police walking by him. Pull that up again, please, CJ. Is it after? Yeah, are we going to get, we might get flagged on YouTube for showing this. Um, is that uh, there are four or five cops right there, right? So there they push him and, and he fall, and he's down and one guy, look, one guy goes to look and then keeps going and the other guys keep going. And ostensibly, what they're doing in some kind of crowd control, that was a pretty serious shove. Now they look at it like it wasn't just, I mean, it was, it was, it was kind of, it wasn't, it, it was sort of within the realm of police procedure, though. Like, I, I, even in a private security society, like, I want a security force to be able to apply force to someone who's being unruly to remove them from an area. Like, and it was, it was reasonable that in and of itself, but that he's, that they did, they decided to do that when he's walked an old, a really old dude, like a really, and he's visibly old and he's not vibrant. He, like if he was on meth, you still wouldn't, if he was on PCP, you still wouldn't. And this is the stupid shit cops have to think about, right? He still wouldn't be a threat. So no, this is, this is just like, and, and why does Trump do shit like this? You, there's, a, there's an element of confusion, right? Fear, uncertainty, doubt. Where you go, yeah, he's just trying to make things confusing. But at this point, I really think he shot it. Like, you, you keep digging holes for yourself. Eventually, you, you know, you're, you're just, they start caving in on you. Your hole gets deep enough, you, you die. You, you get buried. I think that I think Trump is I, I think the Democrats did a great job setting him up with the double whammy trap of the uh, coronaphobia and and uh, the George Floyd everything riots protests and and upheaval and you know highlighting racism when Trump smells of racism all right so to scanning down in the story please CJ to Dan Telvox tweet statement of Mr. Gugino's, Gugino's attorney on the real Donald Trump tweet. Thank you for following up regarding the president's tweet about my client, Martin Gugino. Martin is out of ICU, but still hospitalized and truly needs to rest. Martin has always been a peaceful protester because he cares about today's society. He is also a typical Western New Yorker who loves his family. No one from law enforcement has even suggested anything otherwise, so we are at a loss to understand why the president of the united states would make such a dark dangerous and untrue accusations against him this is really disturbing and uh you know politics aside you know my heart goes out to uh, to martin and wishing him nothing but the speediest of recoveries and hopefully some uh, financial and uh, comp compensatory justice from uh, the buffalo officers and department responsible.